welcome to Guy Coco Gamers. I'm Daryl Benson, and today we're going to be going over the 15th anniversary Street Fighter arcade stick. I'm going to go ahead and let you know if it's good or not. Okay, it is. Uh, it's for the original Xbox and the PS2, and while it's great for both, it's really great for the Xbox, especially if you've had it modified and you have all those great arcade games on there. I'll go ahead and show it off, but let's first let's see what the box and the controller itself looks like. Okay, as you can see here, really nice finish as all the Street Fighter characters are used to and know and love, including Zhang Chief. And uh, you have a joystick here, nice and clicky. It's a circular pattern uh, restrictor plate, which I actually prefer. Uh, I hate square ones. Everybody seems to like square ones. Uh, I think they're almost impossible to pull off moves. I think they're great for games like Frogger or asteroids or something like that but uh, for fighting games circular is where it's at. It has a bat style joystick as you can see here. Buttons are clicky. Not not as fast as some but certainly not slow. I actually had a lot of fun playing with this. Start and select up here. Uh, LR, white, black, Y, B, and A and X. Great joystick. Another really cool feature is, and uh, I'm sure this has meant more back in the day, but it's cool nonetheless, is on the front there's an Xbox, original Xbox memory card slot. So if you want to take this bad boy to your friend's house and upload your personal characters and saves, you have the ability to do so. Let's go ahead and see this thing in action. Here's one of my favorite games, Capcom vs. SNK 2 EO. Uh, I had the GameCube version back in the day, but this is obviously playing on the Xbox. If you have any old Xbox laying around, please mod it. You can have like some of the best arcade games. I've already tested this stick out on uh, several arcade games, including all the Street Fighters, uh, including Turbo, uh, Super Kicks, which is a great arcade game. Uh, Frogger and more including this game as well, and it just plays beautifully. Look at that Look at that. Wow, I made short work of him with Ryu uh, the, Seriously, this controller actually makes you better in a way. I've owned several arcade sticks in the past for Dreamcast, Saturn, PS1, PS2, you name it And uh, I don't know if it's the square restrictor plates or what, but they just never seem to be very fun to use It always seems like a chore pulling off arcade combos, and uh, this is not the case with this, and while I, I by no means am the best fighter in the world, uh, you know, I, I actually had a lot of fun, and I, I really do think it makes you look better. Uh, I'm, of course, I got my ass handed to me right now. Thanks, uh, Nakaru something. Yeah, I could do better. Up next, I believe, is Blanca. I actually really like Blanca. I don't know many of his moves, but... He's just fun with his electric move, but uh, seriously, I really do implore you to get this stick. It's very well made. In fact, the same maker made uh, arcade pads, which I also have for the Xbox, and I'll be doing a review on those as well. And they're kind of like a Sega Saturn fighting pad, kind of. Uh, not quite as good, but pretty damn close. These guys know what they're doing. These guys know how to make good hardware, and I cannot recommend this enough. In fact, if there's anything that sucks about the Xbox and modding the Xbox is that there's not a lot of good controllers for use of older games. With the uh, with the pad and this stick, you pretty much have all your bases covered. Man, I, I actually really suck with Chun-Li, so the fact I'm doing this well is pretty awesome. Uh, also, I love this stage with the rally cars jumping over your head. But yeah, so this is the 15th anniversary Street Fighter arcade stick. 
I cannot recommend it to you guys enough. I really implore you to go ahead and purchase this. Uh, it's pretty cheap and you can find it pretty easily. And I don't know why it's so cheap, but it's pretty much the best value out there. And once again, this is Daryl Bentz with Geico Gamers. This has been another bite-sized episode.